Hey, what's going on, Chess Fanatics? Hope everyone is doing top-notch today. Uh, man, it has been crazy. We got a bunch of cold weather uh, just hanging over us. Uh, snow, all the rest. Uh, not really digging it, gotta say. We're gonna just try and keep warm and uh, play some chess. Currently, we are rated, let's see here, 1722. Uh, yeah, hopefully we can push that forward. Haven't been playing super awesome lately. Great, we got an opponent, 1811. Opens up with D4. And we shall respond. Oh, okay. Uh, looks like we're going to get a Jubava. I'm assuming Bishop out. Okay, so opponent given some pause here. Now, what we can do is just pin. Now, it's possible that they could try and pawn storm us, but I think right now we're going to just play d6. Okay, so now that he's prevented this, I think we're probably safe to castle. But instead, we'll toss in a little bit of a slower move. The Jubava can definitely be tricky sometimes. Um, I don't think it has the most sound, uh, sound opening, at least at the highest levels. But yeah, certainly at, uh, I mean, really into the 2000s, it can be incredibly difficult to deal with, I think, for, for anyone. Oh. Wow. What if we push e5? Can't really do that, so let's develop the rook, give ourselves some room here. Now can we get this? So probably not. But if he takes here, then do we come back and pin it? Does that work? So takes, 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 then maybe knight takes. We come in and pin. Now the knight jump can't go. I think we can do that, although I'm probably missing something. Probably very high likelihood that I'm missing something. I'll pre-move it though, because if he takes that, certainly the line we're going into. And is there a way for him to save that piece? Tough to say. Really needed to calculate to make sure there weren't any knight jumps that could result in some form of a check, for example. Um, especially if he's capturing a piece and then he'd be able to just move his queen away, but didn't see it, although I do miss tons of stuff in my calculations. Okay, so we'll take, hmm, so what if we take here? Is he going to take here? I, I mean, takes, takes, I'm not sure that, does this work? So takes, takes, I mean, it's not easy for him to bring other pieces in. I feel like, okay, let's calculate takes, takes. You know what? What if we just... I gotta see. I mean, we're not too developed now. Done a good job generating some counterplay. Okay. Now, we take here. Got an attack on the queen. We're doubling up here. It's pretty precarious. I mean, I wish our king was a little bit more safe. Obviously, there's a potential mate threat here on, or not mate threat, I guess I could technically escape, but devastating check regardless. So we do have tempo on the queen right now. Lots of possibilities. Okay, let's, hmm. okay. Good on him, he removed that tactic. Kind of greedy to take this. Don't think we really want that. Um, I mean, if he checks out, would kind of help us. Take away this check at the very least. Although I guess technically we have a bishop covering that diagonal. Try and get uh, try and get some pressure here. All right, let's see. He can't move this now because we have a pretty devastating blow. He can't really push any pawns. Okay, I think what we're going to try and do is just get a rook over. Trade off the rooks and play the game. Play the end game. Okay, so he really wants to remove that. Makes sense. But what if we go here, push, take? Yeah, let's do that. Wait, no, because if takes, takes, push, what do we do? Okay, we need to create this little hidey hole. Did that not just blunder mate? 
Okay, uh, guys, that was a crazy game. Um, let's take a look at the review here. Uh, so we beat a, what, 18-11? So pretty happy with that. Uh, oh, <laughs> played as a 1650, so obviously tons of mistakes in there. Um, but yeah, end of day, uh, our opponent seemed to play below their level. Um, let's just jump into the review. So apparently this is not, uh, not theory. It wants me just to play uh, d5. I think I actually knew that, um, it's, I think d5 and then pin, but, um, it's okay. This was a little bit of a, uh, a slower opening for sure on our part. Now, again, once, once you bring the knight out, uh, I feel like we're pretty safe to castle. Yeah, you could see though, like, throughout this opening, like, white has an advantage already. We definitely, definitely could have played this in a much better manner. But the Jabav is tricky. Um, I think our opponent just missed this. Uh, so we did calculate quite nicely there. Now, I'm sure... Oh no, okay, good. This was best. Now... Okay, good. This is also best. I thought we were surviving. What's the best response here? Doesn't like this. Just wants night up. What's the line? Oh... I, I see. I was thinking it would just park here, for example, but obviously can't do that. And so it's saying the best is just to go queen h3 at that point in time. And we have a... Pr Whoa, no, that can't be right. Yeah, queen uh, queen h5, queen h3 kind of alternates between. But anyway, um, won't uh, stick here too much. Uh, we won the piece. Yeah, we got away with uh, the check there. So I think that was nice. Oh, it didn't like this. I thought this was good. Now... Did it want me to take with the pawn? Whoa. Oh my gosh. NG3, look at that, man. I mean... What? And then take the... That is just... Insane. Honestly insane. Um, I think I did look, uh, but I was mostly focused, of course, on... Uh, here, right? E, E2, or sorry, F2. There's so many tactics that uh, that were existing, right? Like when the queen was over uh, over here on H6, we could have had potentially a knight jump in. If he didn't take, for example, and just moved over, then we would play knight out uh, to G4 and we'd win the queen on H6 there. Um, so there was a very, very rich uh, tactical tapestry. Um, okay, so we lost that night, which was a bummer, but of course we got a queen, so we can't complain. Now, here, we just had an immense amount of pressure. Um, oh, it wants... Oh, interesting. Interesting. It wants me to go uh, over to h4. I thought this was great, because we kind of put so much pressure here. And... This uh, was a move just to make ourselves a little bit safer. I wanted to just... Oh, good. So it likes this. It did have a better option. So it wants us... Wow. That's cold, man. Just uh, F6. I did actually consider playing F6, but then I was like, that's insane. Um, Because, like, what about F6? What if they push here? Knight E5. Oh, okay. So it's saying, well, you're counterattacking. So if takes, takes, we're attacking a rook. Now, pawn takes, for example, rook b8. I mean, this, yeah, I don't know if this is something that, that they'd want to go into or not. Uh, that looks absolutely insane. But we just made a little hidey hole, and uh, there was a lot of pressure. I think our opponent maybe had just forgot that we, of course, had this diagonal on lockdown. They didn't bring a rook over to defend, and so they just uh, hung mate there. But, uh, I mean, we can see it was negative five for us. So, hey, all around, pretty good game. Um, you know, 1800 and something rated player makes you feel good. Uh, I have been playing a lot lately, and so... I feel like uh, that's a little boost of confidence. Hopefully we're able to continue on and play uh, play some more solid chess moving forward.
Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.